Hi, this is Miss Tech Vi, and in this video we'll be going over USB Tether on the HTC Wildfire S. Tethering turns your smartphone into an external modem by way of the USB cable, allowing for a single device to connect to the smartphone and access the internet. It requires the device connecting to have drivers and an application to use the internet. Benefits to the USB tethering are the phone is getting a charge while tethering. This also will not require rooting of your Wildfire S. Also, if you have Wi-Fi network available but your computer doesn't have Wi-Fi, you can also take the data in from the phone's Wi-Fi and share it with the computer through the USB cable. Before we begin with the application, first you need to go into Applications, Development, and make sure that USB debugging is checked. From the Android market, you can find Easy Tether Lite. This is a free version. Before using, make sure the check mark is next to USB. This will be so that Easy Tether can watch for the USB to be connected. You will also need to set up and go through the tethering setup. Choose the operating system that you have. Most of us will be downloading to the smartphone onto the micro SD card and transferring to the computer because if you had internet on your computer you wouldn't be doing this anyways. So we're going to open up the drivers page. You need to know what operating system that you have as well as if it's 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. So you're going to go ahead and download the ones that you have. I already have it downloaded. Let's go to the computer. We're over here at my computer and I've already put the Easy Tether file downloaded from the micro SD card onto the computer. First you run the Easy Tether before connecting. So let's uh, install it. You want to leave the Easy Tether core and the Android USB driver install 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 this driver anyways finish and go ahead and let it launch in the taskbar so you're going to right click on the easy tether icon that's going to be down by the clock and you can see that there's no devices connected. Let's go ahead and connect the device. So I'm connecting the Wildfire S. And you can see the screen comes up and it's asked me if I want to charge or do anything. And you don't have to do anything. That'll just go away. And then it says Android ADB interface. So the driver's installed properly. So we're going to go back to the Easy Tether icon. I'm going to right click and then you're going to see Connect via Android. So I'm connecting. So connection is established. Okay, let's go ahead and open up a web page. Web pages are loading. We go to msn.com. Web pages are loading. To show that this is getting the internet from the Wildfire S, um, I have it plugged in here and I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. You're going to see the connection closed. I'm going to go ahead and click somewhere on here and there's no network. 